Hello and welcome back, I'm the Malonzo and today I will show you how to operate switches in Tramsim. I will show you how to do it um, with electric signals using the EBIS system and also using the switch rod, so this thing here. And yeah, so I will get moving. We are here at Karlsplatz, which is a good place to show you um, how to do that. So the requirement to be able to do that is you need to be level two. How do you know that? You can press here the hot options and then enable here the profile window and then you will see level two. You need 5000 TSP for that. Um, I will take it off because I don't like that window. Um, yeah, you need to be level two to be able to operate the switches. Now, I will quickly explain you um, what that actually means because this is uh, relevant to switches. The one on the left means you do not follow. You have to wait, and that one um, which is on right now means you have to proceed to the left so the switch is set to drive to the left so uh, to that direction there then we have the other one which means uh, you have to proceed to the right which would yeah obviously be uh, to go here to the right and this one means that um, that the switch is locked so you can't change it with via electric signals and you have to do it manually with a switch uh, with that switch rod that happens as soon as you get close enough to um, to the switch then it will lock itself okay so here I will just continue I will show you on the next um, on the next switch how to do it yeah we have now we, we shouldn't be allowed to drive but I will drive anyway because it's just um, I, I don't want to waste any time. I hope they wait. If not, it um, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, now I can see the signal. As you can see here, the next signal is set to proceed to the right. Now, I want to proceed to the left so, uh, so that you can see uh, what I'm talking about. You can see that uh, here you can um, go straight or proceed to the right or proceed to the left. Now we want to proceed to the left. So I will get back in the cockpit and now I will use these three blue arrows to control that light. I will press the left um, key and then you will see that this is going to switch. Uh, I think we'll need to get a little bit closer. You still see this is uh, always telling me that it's set to the left. Now we'll get a little bit closer. It's still not changed. Now it's changing and now it changed and also locked. So now we'll proceed to the left here. D, 271, 2A, 59A. Okay, and now we'll also show you how to do that manually. So we are now approaching the next uh, one. And this is pretty hard to see here. Uh, where is it? There it is. As you can see, it is set to the right now right now I'm going to say I want to proceed to the left and now it's still set to the right I will get closer and now you uh, saw it that it just switched and it's locked so if I now say no I, I want to go uh, yeah, proceed to the right it's not going to switch anymore in that case I will need to do that manually so how do you do that? For that you will have to... Yeah, so just stop here. 
will open the first door. I will press the key, the E key on your keyboard to stand up. Then you will take this rod with you just by clicking it. Open the door. And then you walk to that thing here. And now you put a pointer on this hole. You press and then it gets inserted. Now, as you see, this is set to continue to the left. Also, if you can have a look here that it's uh, set to go to the left. If I press now the rod, it moves and also this thing changes. So that way I can switch that however I like it. Now it's set again to proceed to the right. Now I press just before the rod here on the floor and I can take the rod out again and now I can get back in the tram place it back here close the door and press E and then we are back in the tram and then we can continue uh, yeah the door is still open I have to close that and yeah this is how you can change the switches by using the electric signals here and also by using the switch rod. Remember you need to be level 2 so first when it was introduced in update 106 I think um, you could do that with uh, you needed level 3 so 10,000 TSP uh, with update 107 they changed that to 5,000 uh, TSP. Okay so Thank you for watching, um, I hope you liked the video, I hope it was understandable how these uh, switches work and yeah, see you next time.